Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. This post is from the subreddit Relationships and it's by user Worlds Gone Mad D. I, 31 male, found out my wife, 30 female, has been getting a co-worker, 29 female, to spy on me at work. We've been married for 5 years and together for 8. My wife has been jealous of a co-worker at my job for some time now. Her name is Heather and she is in her early 20s, tall and pretty. Just my observations as I have a pair of eyes. Heather is nice, but I don't go out of my way to talk to her. We worked together on a project about 8 months ago, which is when this seems to have started. Heather, three other co-workers and I were assigned to this project and so for a good month we spent much time together at work. My wife saw her one day when we were all coming out and she was picking me up to go to dinner at my parents' place. She immediately asked who was she and if she worked at my job. I told her she was new and was put on our project. For the entire duration of the project, my wife was in a bad mood almost every day and would take every opportunity to tear Heather down, saying she was lanky or her nose was crooked or whatever. She is insecure about her height because she is 5 foot 4 or 1 meter and 62 centimeters and not a 6 foot tall glamazon. I love my wife's height and petite figure and tell her this every day. She is extremely gorgeous and turns heads whenever we walk downtown. But once she saw Heather was tall and not ugly, she was convinced I thought she was hot. I kept telling her she was just a colleague and that I had no interest in her. Regardless, she would greet her coldly or not at all if she saw my colleagues. Our home and jobs are located downtown, so we usually walk to meet up with each other after work. My wife would start dressing up a lot more than usual when she'd come to meet me and make a big show of jumping on me and stuff. She works at a very nice bakery and usually brings leftovers from work for us or people at my job. She always gave things out to everyone except Heather. Eventually, Heather picked up on the hostility and approached me to ask why my wife was acting that way. I simply told her I didn't know, maybe because she didn't know her as long as the other colleagues she was distant. She seemed to accept that but would no longer leave at the same time as everyone else and would either go early or hang back. Brian, another co-worker, approached me on Friday and asked to talk to me privately. He told me he had been at lunch with Kate, the co-worker in question, and when she had gone to pay for the food, she left her phone on the table. It lit up with a text and he saw it was from Valerie, my wife's name. The text basically said, Did you see him talking to her today? What did he say? Then, do you think Heather is going to stay at that job long? When Kate came back to the table, he asked her if that was Valerie, as in my wife. She got a deer in the headlights look and said, Oh yeah, we text sometimes, we're friends. He said he thought it was weird because she put her phone in her purse without even checking the messages he had asked about and wanted to go. So, I went home and snooped on my wife's phone. I know it was wrong, but I had a feeling that if I asked her, she would deny it or become defensive and not show me the phone. There were weeks worth of texts that basically were little reports on what went on at work. If Heather had talked to me, what we talked about, did she hug me goodbye, did she touch me at all, did I laugh at her jokes, did the guys think she was hot, did I join in with them, did I look like I was flirting, and more. Kate was also apparently talking up Valerie at work to Heather. She made sure to mention often that we were married, how great Valerie was, how long we'd been together. I even read one that said, I told her, Val works in a bakery. I bet if anyone tried to steal her husband, she'd just chop them up and bake them into a pie. <laughs> Which was pretty effing creepy. A lot of things started coming together then. Heather was much more distant lately. She seemed hesitant to say bye at the end of the day. We used to talk casually like everyone else at work, but now she would just say hi and bye mostly. I've been sitting on this information all weekend. Today at work I could hardly look at Heather for the shame of it and I couldn't look at Kate for my disgust. I haven't been able to approach my wife about this because I just don't know how or what to say. I feel frustrated and very much weirded out. I feel gross too, like I've had my every move watched without knowing it and as if just talking to a coworker is doing something wrong. I haven't talked to anyone else about this, not even Brian who first mentioned it. 
I don't know what to do from here. I don't even know what this means for our relationship. It feels like something big has changed because I haven't been able to look at her the same way and all my interactions with her since Friday have been kind of forced and faked. I need to talk to her and figure out what to do. Any advice would be appreciated. I feel very lost right now. Okay, OP, your wife has major insecurity issues. I don't know where they come from, but they're definitely huge if she needed to act this way. Some people play it off, and this is because I've heard some of my friends even say this. I trust my partner, but I don't trust other men or other women. In my opinion, that's a cop-out to say that you don't actually trust your partner, because if you did, then whatever anybody else would do, it doesn't really matter because you trust your partner to shut them down. So to your situation, it's communication. You need to sit down with your wife and tell her everything. And you gotta admit that you snooped in her phone and that's how you find out. Apologize for doing that, but stick to the topic of what is going on. From what you say, you find your wife very attractive, you've told her so, and you love her. But her insecurities are definitely getting the best of her and what you say is not enough. And this makes me think that your wife needs help to get over this thing. And what do you guys think or what would you do if you were in OP shoes? Let me know in the comment section and now let's move on to the community comments to see what they said. Little Nin says, This is outrageous. Your wife has completely undermined you in a professional capacity and allowed her insecurities to jeopardize your career. I would be infuriated. First things first, I would tell your wife that you know what has happened and that it is completely unacceptable. I would then organize marriage counseling for her to work through her insecurities and for you to help rebuild your trust in her. Let's get this straight. She has let you down here. She has broken your trust. She needs to apologize and work to change this gross behavior fast or I would be hot footing it out of their quick sticks. Deleted says, this is couples counseling time, hardcore. She, your wife, has totally broken your trust and is treating you like a criminal. She's being mean, disrespectful, sneaky and just an all around jerk. Kate should also be seriously ashamed of herself. I don't know man, were it me, I'd talk to my wife, insist on counseling, but if she refuses to go or causes a huge stink, I'd rethink the marriage. I might even report Kate to HR for unprofessional conduct and creating a hostile work environment. And Opie responds, I'm going to bring up counseling today when I get home from work and talk to her about this. I'm so lost 1 through 9 says, quote, but once she saw Heather was tall and not ugly, she was convinced I thought she was hot. End quote. There are tons of tall and not ugly people in the world. Does your wife feel threatened by all of them? Quote, there were weeks worth of texts that basically were little reports on what went on at work. If Heather talked to me, what we talked about, did she hug me goodbye, did she touch me at all, did I laugh at her jokes, did the guys think she was hot, did I join in with them, did I look like I was flirting? End quote. Honestly, this is nuts. Not only could this put your job at risk by your wife involving a co-worker in her insecurity, but the sheer amount of distrust is staggering. Your wife is basically stalking you. Demand counseling. Put your foot down and tell her that it's couples counseling or the marriage ends. I think your wife desperately needs separate counseling as well, because none of this is healthy or normal behavior. Some additional information from OP's comments. My wife has been irrationally jealous in the past. She is very insecure about her looks and I find it very sad. I'm not saying this because I'm her husband, but she is very beautiful. Long dark hair, light brown eyes, perfect face. She really does get a lot of looks and double takes, but she experienced a lot of bullying as a kid. She had bushy brows growing up and was the only Italian girl in her middle school. She grew up thinking she was ugly for not being tall or blonde haired and blue eyed. She thinks that's secretly what I want, I guess, although I've never said anything to indicate that. I think a counselor would be a great help in this situation. Someone to mediate and guide us through navigating this issue and the underlying issues that caused this. I was worried if I could lose my job over this. I thought about it, but I don't know how the boss could fault me personally for something my wife, an external source, and another co-worker did. But I could be wrong and this could derail my career. Okay, well the community definitely agrees that the wife needs counseling, although I think some of them were a little bit harsh as to this being so binary, either do it or we're done. I believe this is a communication issue and helping OP's wife gain confidence in herself. Anyways, let's move on to the update to see what happened then. 
First off, I would like to thank everyone for their responses and for taking the time to give me advice. I did not expect all the comments I received, so please don't take it personally if I didn't reply to yours. I was very much overwhelmed by and grateful for the support. Now on to the update. Took the general advice and confronted Valerie, and used therapy as a non-negotiable term. So the day I posted I saw Kate at work and bluntly said, you don't need to report on me today or any day after this. I'll be talking to my wife after I'm done today. She got this blank look on her face and said she didn't know what I meant, but I noticed her hanging around significantly less than usual after that. I did my best to focus on my work, but I asked to go home early because it was just impossible with everything looming ahead for me to concentrate. I went home and texted my wife that I was home early and I needed to talk to her when she was done with work, so please come home right away. I got a bunch of what's going on, what's wrong texts, but just kept telling her I'd talk to her at home. She got home and I got into it right away. Told her I knew about the texts with Kate, about the spying, the harassment of Heather. She was mad at first and kept adamantly saying she did nothing wrong and if I had nothing to hide, why did it matter? I told her to please not play me for a fool and outlined all the things her behavior meant like lack of trust and sheer vindictiveness. I brought up the consequences like my damaged trust and drama in the workplace. I also brought up how my job could be at risk because of this. She made a point to say they couldn't fire me without also removing Heather as she'd say she was being inappropriate towards a married man in the workplace and Kate would back her up. That brought us to a heated argument and it ended with her crying and me yelling. She started asking, who the F is Heather to you that you give so much of a crap anyway? And derailed into this whole thing about me caring too much about someone I claimed meant nothing to me. I don't want to get into too much detail because this would be extremely long, but the conversation was a good 5-6 to six hours long. It ended with her agreeing to go to couples therapy and individual if the couples therapist so deemed it. She apologized to me a lot and admitted she had been acting out of jealousy and anger towards Heather. She asked me if I wanted her to apologize to Heather in person, but I said no, I didn't want there to be more drama. I watched as she texted Kate and told her to stop and that she was sorry for dragging her into it. She gave me the password to her phone for transparency, but I told her it was pointless as if she really wanted to continue, she could just delete the texts before I saw them or change the name or whatever. I told her I expected her to keep her word to stop because if I got any indication that this was still going on after our talk that I would separate from her and file for divorce. Yesterday morning, things still seemed tense, but it was to be expected. She still kissed me before going to work and we had a normal text conversation on our commute. I got to work and Kate apologizes to me and I accept it, but tell her our work relationship from here on out is forever changed and there's no going back from it. I tell her that beyond work conversation, we have nothing else to talk about. She accepted it and went on to start the day. Lunch rolls in. I ask Brian if he'll let me buy him lunch and thank him for telling me. We go to have lunch and he asks me if I've heard Heather put in her request for a transfer. Apparently on Tuesday when I left early, Heather asked why I wasn't at my desk because she had brought over the week's project booklet and had seen me there earlier. Kate, of all people, told her I had gone home to deal with personal issues. When Heather asked if everything was alright, Kate told her that she hoped so because I don't want to see someone come between Valerie and Opie's marriage. There must have been a bit more to the exchange because Heather went all the way up to our boss's boss and asked for a transfer to a different department. I feel extremely embarrassed because without a doubt I feel like that guy now in the office. I know Brian isn't a gossipy person but of course people will ask why Heather transferred and without a doubt it will eventually get out. People who used to talk to me casually probably will stop. The women of the office will feel as if they need to keep their distance and I feel so ashamed that I can't even approach Heather to apologize for the stress this must have cost her. I doubt she even would want to see my face at this point. So yes, my wife agreed to counseling, both couples and individual, apologized to me, all those things. But the damage is now done and I feel like complete crap about work now. I guess I shouldn't have been so naive to think that just fixing this with my wife would make everything else go away. 
Anyway, thank you all for the advice. I was feeling very at sea before writing that post. I still feel a bit lost as far as how to deal with the fallout of all of this, but at least I have one part of it sorted or on its way to being sorted out, so that's a positive. Well, Opie, like you say, at least one part is kinda sorted out, so that's good. Hopefully, and wishful thinking, there will be no work fallout apart from Heather moving, which also sucks, because she shouldn't have to. In any case, hopefully your wife will get the help that she needs and she'll be able to get over her insecurities and improve your marriage. So all the best, Opie, and take care. Now, let's move on to the next post. This post is from the subreddit Petty Revenge, and it's by user Adorable Peanut. Make me stay late? I'll be an inconvenience to your Friday night. I'm a senior in college and I am currently taking a statistics course with a lab. For this lab, we each had to pay a $200 technology fee to be able to use the computers, but there are only 30 computers and 60 students. My lab teaching assistant is awful. She's on a power trip all the time. In the first lab we went to, she made all of us stay late so she could go around and individually watch us print because she didn't trust us to do so on our own. Some important backstory here. My lab teaching assistant hates getting emails. She always makes us print because of this, despite the lack of computers. She says she doesn't want to receive 60 individual emails each lab. During our second lab this semester, we had a section in which we had to print out a page of graphs. Our head teaching assistant said one graph page per group was fine since there was only one printer and half of us didn't have computers. However, at the end of the lab, the bad teaching assistant stated this was not okay with her and we would have to print out another copy for my lab partner. I informed her my lab partner, along with half of the class, had already left and she told me to figure out how to get a graph submitted for my lab partner or I would lose points on my grade. So, being the studious senior that I am, I sent a message to our group chat of 60 students saying, Hey guys, the TA really needs everyone to email a copy of your graphs to her today, even if you already printed them. She said she needs a copy from everyone and it must be done today. If you don't send it, you may lose points on your lab. She received 60 separate emails that night. I often laugh thinking about how confused and angry it made her. A week later, we got an email saying she had been fired for her mistreatment of students. Well, hopefully if she ever gets a job as a TA again, she won't be such an ass. And it's that time that we've reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's stories. I really did enjoy reading them to you. So if you did, then don't be shy and go ahead and give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe or even share this video with people that you might think will enjoy my storytelling. Also, if you have the time, go down to the video description and check out all the links I have for you, from our Discord community to my channel merch. And finally, I'd like to say thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me that you enjoy my videos. And having said all that, I'll see you guys in the next video.